In today's video, I want to walk you through some of my favorite integrations between Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft OneNote. Both Outlook and OneNote are extremely powerful tools in their own right, and when you couple them together, you get even more productivity benefits. Of course, if you do like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up, and if you want to supercharge the ways your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's get into this. The first thing we're going to do is send an email from our Outlook over into OneNote. This is great for actually keeping a record of things, and if you're compiling, say, a project, keeping things relevant to that project all together in the one OneNote page. You can see here, I have an email for myself with a little message saying this is a video on how to integrate OneNote and Outlook. It has an attachment of a photo, an attachment of a PDF, and I wanna save this into my OneNote section. I have two ways of moving this from Outlook into OneNote. The first one is right-clicking and then going send to OneNote. This is gonna open up a dialog box and it's gonna ask us where in OneNote do you wanna save it. It also shows you your most recent picks. Uh, I'm gonna use my most recent option of scripts and simply go okay, because that's where I wanna save it to. I select okay, OneNote pops up, it opens up, and it imports a few details from that meeting. The first is the title or the subject of that call. The second is the information of who it's from and who's to, and of course, the date it was sent. It's also got the attachments. One is that photo, which is just my YouTube thumbnail. And the second one is a PDF document, which we can go ahead and view here. And then of course, it's got the body of that email text as well. So it's really easy. You right click, scroll down and go send to OneNote. The other way of doing this is of course, selecting on that email. In the home tab, go over to the right hand side where you have uh, this section called move. And then you've got the button sent to OneNote. You select on that and that same dialog box is gonna pop up asking you where you're gonna send it to. So that is one way of moving an email from Outlook into OneNote. What I'm gonna do now is snap Outlook to the left-hand side and OneNote to the right-hand side. And I'm just, for ease of access, just gonna add a new page here. If I wanted to save this entire email, but I wanted to keep it in a little message, I can actually drag and drop that email into OneNote, and then I can attach it as a file or a printout. If I go attach as file, I now have that email saved, but instead of being an entire page, it's actually just a little icon that I can double tap, open it up, and that's gonna open up the email for me. This is great when you wanna store a few email messages together, but you don't necessarily need to see everything all at once, but you wanna sort of keep them all in the one section, right? The other thing you can do is, if you don't wanna carry across that entire email, just the attachments. You can grab the attachments like the photo, drag and drop it in, and it's gonna save the photo in there. Or you can drag the documents like the sample form and drop it into OneNote. And then you have two options here, attaching it as a file or attaching it as a printout. So if I attach it as a file, very similar to the whole email body, I get just a little icon where I can double tap and view it online or view it in a PDF annotator. If I wanted to drag it in and drop it as a printout, I can select an insert printout, and this will save the file into OneNote where I can view it all in my OneNote page. So it's really handy and you've got a few different ways of taking attachments and emails and inserting them into OneNote. I use this all the time because it just helps keep a record and keep things really together that are related to each other. What I'm gonna do now is actually open OneNote in a full page to make it easier to view, and I'm gonna add another page again because what I wanna show you is how you can insert meeting details from um, Outlook into OneNote. So in the home tab of OneNote, I'm gonna scroll over to the right-hand side next to the voice where it says transcribe and dictate. There's a button that says meeting details. So this is actually synced up to your Outlook calendar. If I drop this down, it's gonna show me all of my meetings for today. And I'm simply gonna select on the one meeting I have, which is our OneNote and Outlook video. Open this up. And this is gonna grab all the meeting details from my Outlook and paste it into OneNote. Again, with the subject of that meeting. Then it's gonna tell me the details of that meeting, of course, when that meeting was. A link to the calendar invite if I needed it. It's gonna show me the invitation message if there was one. So this would be the body of that email. And then the participants. If you had multiple people here, one thing I like to do is use the shortcut of control and one and then press it again, and it gives you a little tick box. I use this to mark who has attended or who hasn't attended that meeting, because we could have a few people here. We'll say Bob, Charlie, just for an example, and I could actually say Control-1, Control-1, tick that Charlie was there, 
but next to Bob's name, we're gonna have a blank uh, tech, uh, tick box because Bob didn't attend. Of course, if those people were in the original email, you'd have the email alias there as well, instead of having to manually put it in. Then of course, you can go ahead and make sure you take all the notes in that meeting, and then you can just keep adding all your different notes here. Once you're done with all your notes, you may need to share it back to the people of that meeting or really just share it to anyone, or it might not even be about a meeting. You could just wanna share your OneNote page to relevant people. To do this in the top corner of your home tab of OneNote, on the right hand side, you have a button called email page, and we're simply gonna select on email page. This is gonna copy that entire OneNote page and dump it into Outlook. And it's gonna show you everything there. And down the bottom, it's gonna be highlighted saying created with OneNote. to let people know that this was actually created in OneNote. From here, you can go ahead and add all the participants, all the recipients of it, change the subject if you wanted to, and then simply hit send. This is a, this is a great way of taking your notes from OneNote and then sharing with other people. The beauty of this is that you don't have to share your entire OneNote with them, just the page or the contents of that page, so they get the relevant information without getting access to your entire OneNote notebook. And the last thing I wanna show you is how to use Outlook tasks in OneNote. So say you have a task, make sure to subscribe, and use Outlook flags quite a bit. You can actually highlight that sentence and this little editing box pops up and you can choose to add an Outlook flag next to it. If you don't wanna use the option of highlighting and waiting for the box to pop up in your home tab of Outlook, next to that option of email page, you can also select on the drop down and add an Outlook task from here. Then we're gonna jump over to Outlook, head over to our task section, and then you can see that flagged item is now here. Make sure to subscribe. Once you've done it, go ahead and tick it off and it means you've completed that task. And there you have it. Those are some of my favorite integrations between Microsoft Outlook and Microsoft OneNote. Let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. If you like this video, let me know by giving a thumbs up. And if you want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.